the hell you think? What do you think about Genesis? Well, you know, I think they have a very melodic sound. Uh, it seems to be very commercial sound, and, and I mean that in a positive way. I mean, it's something that the public has tended to almost take for granted because they accepted this group because of their immense popularity over the years. Uh, they certainly sell out all their concerts uh, when they come to Houston and play the Summit, which is our largest venue for a rock and roll concert. Uh, in fact, I think they sold out two nights the last time they were in town. Uh, they've definitely got a mass following, and um, I would say the overall sound is, uh, when I think of Genesis, I think of electronics. Uh, you know, even though they do have some uh, acoustic songs, uh, especially a lot in, the, in their early years. Uh, you know, what can you say? Man, what about some of their members? <laughs> well, you know, Phil Collins, I mean, is, has established himself as a solo artist, uh, obviously. And, uh, of course, a few years ago, he was involved with probably Great Britain's greatest uh, jazz rock fusion group, although you might have some argument from the uh, Ian, uh, Ian Carmichael, I believe. Uh, anyway, there's a... There's a but you know, his, they're, they're like the best uh, fusion group, and then... Uh, well, who's that? Brand X? Brand X, right. What, uh, and uh, some of the other members had their own spin-off right. groups. Well, you know, uh, Mike Rutherford has Mike and the Mechanics, uh, and then uh, I know Anthony Phillips, I mean, uh, yeah, Anthony, Anthony Banks, I believe he's the lead for so long. I don't, I don't really know, to be honest with you. Uh, but, uh, We're going to have to go s consult Trouser Press. Ian Carr was the guy I was trying to think of. Ian Carr. Who was, a, who was possibly right. What is this over house. here? This is some sort of a n n development of yours that you're working on here? Man, it is. You know, it's, it's kind of a, kind of a vacuum organ. There, there appear to be photographs of uh, squirrels. Well, the, the, the squirrel has played an important part in my music. Uh, you know, I had Red Squirrel, the Ballad of Red Squirrel, and uh, I had Red Squirrel Meets the City Squirrel, part one and two. And then Red Squirrel Takes a Holiday in the South of France. <laughs> <laughs> Which was really a big success uh, on the West Coast. What about uh, this, str this stuff over here? Well, this is kind of uh, this is kind of my little homage to the sea. You know, you've got like a, a duck's feet and a duck. You know, is definitely a water creature. Uh, you know, and I've got the various seashells, and I, I believe this little rock came from a, a, a place uh, over near Galveston Bay that was called Funny Water Rocks, and uh, and then you know, of course, I've got some actual sea water here, and then. To the, to the sea because, you know, I believe that we came from the sea and that one day we shall return to the sea. That's very beautifully put. <laughs>